بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور دا ٹاپک کنفگر بک مارکس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن انہینس رپورٹس فار یوزیبلٹی اینڈ اسٹوری ٹیلنگ سو ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیڈ اے لک ایٹ دا گروپ اینڈ لیئر ویژولس بائی یوزنگ دا سلیکشن پین اینڈ وی کریٹیڈ اے سینیریو ویئر وی ور لکنگ ایٹ اے bar chart a combination of a bar chart and a button so we had two buttons and two bar charts and we created groups of the related button and the bar chart so now we are going to carry on with the same scenario and take it to configure at to configure and create the bookmark so let's go back to the power bi desktop environment so here in i am back in the power bi desktop environment and here if you can see that we created these two groups cost group and quantity group and now we are going to use these groups to create bookmarks but before i actually configure the bookmarks let's understand what are bookmarks so bookmarks actually come from the web usage so we are familiar with creating bookmarks inside our browser so what is a bookmark so bookmark actually preserves the status of a web page so if you are using a browser and you want to save the state of a browser on any website or any web page then you go and create a bookmark and then once you want to revisit that website you just go and you click on that particular bookmark within your browser and that particular website is open so same is the case here in terms of power bi that in power bi we want to create certain bookmarks which actually preserve the state of our canvas so we are going to preserve the state of our canvas and we normally do it where we have Uh, a, a, a scenario where we want to preserve the, uh, the the real state on our canvas so let's say the scenario is that i want to actually use this total cost button and total quantity button and i want to show whatever information i have in this particular area so right now this is the area so the so the sir, the, the rectangle that i am drawing i want that i want, once i press this total cost button the total cost uh information or the total cost visual should appear here and then if i want to show the same information but related to the total quantity which we have uh in the form of another visual then the information for total quantity should appear in this area so i need to create two bookmarks one that preserves the state of the total cost and the other which preserve wants to which actually preserves the status of the total quantity so the state of the button and also the state of the visual i want to preserve so that i can reuse this this uh, real state and um, i do not have to actually create um, uh, another uh, a, another um, chart in another area so this is one of the most important uses of the of the bookmark so let's now see the step by step process that how this bookmark can be created so like i just explained that we need to create actually two bookmarks if the functionality that i have just explained we want to achieve so the first of the bookmarks is going to preserve the state which is right right now there on the canvas where the total cost information is being shown the other information once the total quantity button is going to be pressed then the the chart has to be replaced by the total quantity so so that view can be achieved if i go here on the on the cost group and if i just turn hide the visual which is the total cost then this is the view which actually shows the total quantity so if i hide if i unhide this and hide this total quantity then this is the view that is there for total cost so what we are going to do right now is that we are going to actually create two bookmarks one for the total cost scenario and one for the total quantity scenario and for that we need to go into the bookmarks option here as shown here and here we have the option to actually add the bookmarks but before you do that the, the important thing is that you need to also have the selection pane open here and you need to remember the steps so the first step is that you need to select everything that you want to include in in the bookmark so you need to in, to select both the groups so i'm going to select quantity group and the cost group and then i can go and click on the add button here and i am going to create my first bookmark so i can give it a name so this is the scenario of my cost bookmark so this is my cost bookmark so i have 
selected both of these and make sure that you have the total quantity option off here so let me just check so that yes the total quantity option is is off here so my cost bookmark has been created then if within the same step without you know clicking on anything else i need to go and click on these three dots and then i need to 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 do two steps the first step is that i need to first select this selected visuals and then i need to go back here again and then i need to uncheck this data so i'm going to come back uh, and explain what is actually uh, related to all the, both of these options but this these are the two steps that i need to do once i have done this step then i can come here and i can click here on the blank area of the canvas so now my first bookmark which is the cost bookmark has been created now i need to basically create the other bookmark so for that purpose i am going to just hide the cost button and i am going to make available the cost the, the quantity bar chart and then i am going to repeat the same process so i am going to select this one i am going to select the other group so both groups have been selected then i need to go and click on add and then i am going to give this a name which is the quantity bookmark and then again the same process i need to click on the three dots first i need to select on the selected visuals and then i need to go and then i need to uncheck this data part and then i can come and i can click here on the canvas blank area so these are the steps that you need to keep in mind now my both the bookmarks have been created so now i am in a position to check if whether my bookmarks have been created correctly or not so i can just go and click on cost bookmark so you see that the state for the cost bookmark appears and if i go and click on the quantity bookmark then the state for the quantity bookmark appears here so the only step right now left which the only step which is left right now is that i need to configure these buttons so that the bookmarks are configured according to the button so i want that if i press the quantity the quantity uh, uh, bookmark should come and if i want to go and click on cost then the cost bookmark should should appear so so right now i am here on the quantity bookmark so i am going to go into the quantity group and i am going to select the quantity button right and for that i need to have my formatting option available as well so now what i am going to do is that i am going to go into the formatting option for my quantity bookmark so first i need to go and enable this action button then i am going to expand this action button then i need to go and select the type so here the uh, the type that i need to select is the bookmark so now the action says that if i want to use this button then it this is going to be used in a bookmark scenario and now i can select the bookmark which is going to be my quantity bookmark so once i press the quantity button my quantity bookmark should be activated so now i have done this next i need to so repeat the same process for the cost bookmark so for the cost bookmark i need to come to the cost button and i need to repeat the same step so i turn on the action select here bookmark and then i need to select the the cost bookmark here so i have assigned the cost bookmark to the cost button so now the process of configuring the bookmark is complete and i can come in this area and now you can see that the actions have been enabled so let me just click here by pressing control and the mouse click on the total quantity and here you see that i am seeing the total quantity then i just repeat this for the total cost then i see that total cost is available here so i have created a book uh, a, a couple of bookmarks and now i am using the same area to display both of my charts so this is how you can configure the bookmarks so the last thing that you need to know regarding the bookmarks is that remember that we did two things once we were creating the bookmarks and the first one was that i selected instead of the all visuals i selected the selected visual so so basically i want only the selected visual so the selected visuals means that the two groups where, where which i selected these are the two 
uh, groups and all the elements between uh, within that are the are the elements that I want to keep in my bookmark. So if you want to have everything on the canvas, then you can have the all visuals option uh, uh, selected here. But the, the 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 sensible thing to do is that you do select the selected visuals option here, and then you have these three options: data, display, and current page. So this is basically the option that tells you that what part do you want to keep in the bookmark so to, so current page means the, the that this is the page so i want to keep this the display means that everything which is dis being displayed on the page includes this but the third one i actually did not include and that is the data so data means that if i check the data then even the data within the visual is also preserved but i do not want that because maybe there is a certain filter that is acting here and that filter is actually doing something and it actually filters the value so if you do not want to keep the data then you do, do not need to uh, select this so if we have like unchecked the data because i do not want my data to be a part of it similarly for display if you want the actual display state then you you keep it because actually yes we want to keep the display state but based on your requirement you can come here and you can change the settings for the <clears throat> bookmark so this was all about the bookmarks uh, we covered in detail how we can configure the bookmarks so that's all for this particular video and i'll catch you up in the next one